Well, hi, folks. Sean here. We're Shots with Sean, brought to you by Barstools and Band Talk. We have Nathan Fleming and Patrick Edmonds from the band. There you go. Playing Riverfest, uh, August 19th, 20th. What the, What day are you guys on the bill? Uh, yeah, we're playing Friday, uh, Friday night. Right. Well, I'm playing Friday night, so look forward to meeting you. So um, I'll go, uh, Patrick, to you. What um, Have you guys played this uh, this show before? No, we have not. This is our first uh, first time playing it. I know Nathan's been a big fan for years. Uh, it's on his bucket list, I think, to play uh, Riverfest. So this is going to be a big one. Um, so, Nathan, it's on your bucket list, you've obviously attended it before. Oh, yeah, I've been there like the last seven years or so, I'd say. Um yeah, probably about seven years. So now uh, Fox Mountain, Aylesford, I believe this is the first time in this location. Is that correct? Second time. Second time. Um, just, just before the pandemic was when they moved. That was, uh, that was the last live river fest. So this will be my first, uh, my first rock to bush, so to speak. Uh, but um, I'm looking forward to it. What are people going to expect out of you guys when they see you on Friday night? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, we got, we got a, a short 40 minutes, so we're trying to pack in as many, uh, as many hits as we can. Uh, obviously we're a Weezer tribute, so you're going to, you're going to hear songs that you're familiar with. And, uh, like I said, we're going to, we're going to play all the, all the favorites. Well, so Patrick, and you know, it's interesting, 40 minutes, a lot of people go, ah, you know, um, 40 minutes isn't a long time. But uh, it could be just enough time to either win an audience over, or just enough time to, uh, you know, have tomatoes thrown at you. Um, you know, what are you guys looking to pack into the, this? It, this will be a new, I guess, audience for you guys. So what do you yeah. get out of it? Yeah, for sure. We we ran the set uh, a few weeks ago, and it was bang on the dot. So we're lucky playing Weezer songs that a bunch of them are pretty pretty short, sweet. So we're happen to pack as many of the hits in there that you might expect we'll keep it a little bit of surprise in terms of uh, uh what you might uh, might be thinking you'd be hearing from from a weezer sort of tribute act but i'm sure uh, people who are our fans or have been fans since uh the 90s will will leave pleased um and i mean that's uh, it's funny because i you don't typically hear uh i've never heard anybody say we're a weezer tribute act before I, you hear some of the common ones i think you guys maybe hit on something that's fairly unique for this area um nathan how'd you guys happen upon it? obviously it's a, a love of the music but uh you know was there something else that kind of led you guys to to do that um yeah it was it was sort of a, a a project that i tried to get off the ground uh probably five six years ago uh just wrong group of guys at the time it uh it didn't really, uh, it, it kind of evolved into something much more and it became a, a, a full on cover band, which wasn't, you know, the vision that I had. So I kind of had it in the back pocket for a while and knew that I was going to get this thing going at some point. Uh, Luke, our singer, drummer, uh, he's not on the call with us, but uh, uh, the three of us actually all worked together for a couple of years. And uh, I knew that Luke was a, a big Weezer fan like I am. So I just ran into him in, at the office and just pitched it to him and he said, yeah. And, uh, then we brought Patrick on board and I, it's just been, uh, it's, it's just been fantastic ever since. So. So, uh, what uh, I, I should know this because I'm, I'm playing Friday night and I don't, but I, I'm going to play Friday, but I'm going to stay the whole weekend and cover the, cover the festival. Your slot is, uh, what time? We're at seven something, seven fifty. Was it Nathan? Yeah. Seven fifty sounds right. That's we're we're up third, so I'll get I'll get to see you guys. Uh, I think we might be fourth. I think Tide and Timber wraps it up, and we're just before them. Um, so this should be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've done a festival type gig. Um, it does one of two things: it either builds a ton of camaraderie, or uh, if, if there's some people that uh, maybe you've seen and haven't gotten along with, that kind of might sort itself out too. But uh, I don't think it'll be that kind of uh, that kind of event. Um, you guys, Nathan, you guys going to bring some, some folks with you, or are you just hoping to build an audience with the, with the folks that are there? Oh, a little bit of both. Um, like, like I said, you know, I've been going for six, seven years and there's a, a good sized crew of us that, uh, that roll into Riverfest every summer. Um, but again, there's, you know, a, an even larger group of people that we don't know. So, 
um, it's, it's, it's good to make friends, um, going for so many years and just being in the scene, I'm friends with a lot of people in a lot of the bands. So it's always been fun to just go and like support your friends. Right. And, Absolutely. and now, uh, now I get to be one of the guys on stage. So it's uh, cross that off the bucket list. Well, you know what? This is fun. Going to be fun for me because Jason McCorson, who actually produces my show, uh, Jason's going to sit in with my band that night, our bass players away. And uh, so that'll be fun. Um, I'll actually get to find out if Jason's as good as he keeps telling everybody that he is. <laughs> nice. but, uh, no, Jason is the best man. He does a great job with this. So, uh, Patrick, your first time doing this, um, you know, are, do you guys have any shows coming up before this? Or are you putting all your kind of your, your, your might into this show to, to be ready for it? No, we're putting all our might into this show. It's all, all for this crowd. We don't have anything else kind of planned right now. We're putting, putting all those eggs there. I think Nathan's been talking about this for, uh, I don't know, since I probably joined the band pretty much. It's like, yeah, what, if we're playing out the next year, like let's make sure that we try and apply for, for Riverfest and make sure that that's on, on the list. So uh, that's, uh, that's what makes it special for, for us. Okay, so Nathan, I'm going to wrap with you. Actually, I'm going to wrap one question with you. I'll go back to Patrick just to kind of wrap the whole thing up. But what are people, what can they expect when they go to this, this festival on August 19th and 20th? Uh, Riverfest is a great time. There's a lot of, a lot of people having it, you know, enjoying a lot of great music. There's so many good acts on the bill. Um, and we just happen to be one of them. So, uh, you know, you can expect a couple nights of great music and, uh, you know, people like to party together. It's, it's just, it's been a blast every year I've gone. I love that line. Uh, it, it reminded me, you said we happen to be one of them. It reminded me of a line. Uh, I played with a lot of good, very good, uh, guitar players and Nathan's one of them. <laughs> Okay, Patrick, we're, we're, we're the folks that are on bar stools, and uh, we have over almost 7,000 people on this. We have all, almost, I do believe we're getting 15,000 to 20,000 people watching this per day, different interactions. Where are they going to find it about, uh, about you guys? Awesome. Yeah, check us out. We've got uh, Facebook, search for Threezer. Uh, we're on uh, LinkedIn, or not LinkedIn, shoot, <laughs> Instagram and, uh, and YouTube. we got a couple of live videos on YouTube, so if you want to check anything out, before the uh, the show to get a gist of what we're doing, you can uh, check us out there. Super. Boys, thanks for doing this. And uh, look for your smiling faces on a probably a, a, a regular reel between now and uh, that weekend. It's going to be a good time. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you guys when we're there. Awesome. awesome. Thanks so much. Peace.